Welcome to the Football Friends Podcast. My name's Gage, and I am joined here by Paddy and Ash. Whoa! Ash Baby's back. Ash returns. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to have you back. Is it? Well, um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I mean... We, we, the last couple of episodes were pretty solid just saying like yeah. <laughs> we stepped it up yeah yeah I can go home mm. like <laughs> no 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 we're, we're asking you to step it up oh no yeah, I can't yeah. do that okay well mm, <laughs> keep making us look good thing. okay I can do yeah. that yeah it's gonna be easy you're gonna, to, you're gonna have a lot to answer for when we get into it but anyway we might as well start the show and we'll start by talking about the Africa Cup of Nations yes which has now concluded what a glorious time. And it was the final between Liverpool and Liverpool. <laughs> well, I, th- I think, look, from, even from my perspective as a Liverpool fan, that's quite generous to us. I think there were some other players on the pitch. <laughs> Apparently, but yeah, that's not what the headlines I read said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the Mane vs. Salah showdown. Okay. Mm. Playing for the next contract. Uh, yeah, yeah. Playing for the starting berth in the next oh. game. Yeah. Well, you can't drop uh, Diego Yota at this rate. No. Not while he's in my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah. So anyway, onto the, the match itself. It was... Uh, you, you you probably had the best of the best watch of it, I guess, right? Um, yeah, I certainly had a, had a wee go. Mm. Um, uh, the result was obviously a nil-nil, followed by a penalty shootout win mm. by Mane and the boys. Mane himself taking... The winning penalty, mm. and then so and Salah not taking a penalty. Well, he was chalked to take the fifth, mm. which, as it turns out, didn't matter because yeah. they got to the, they only got to the fourth one. That's so risky, eh? Surely, surely your top penalty taker is in the top three. Yeah, because because mm. you're gonna have to take three. I think statistically, you have to the, take three. the most important are the first and the fourth. If if you score those two, you normally. You'd like disagree what, every you penalty can't is important with... <laughs> so your best penalty taker should take every penalty <laughs> well, yeah. well like you should be like you know yeah yeah the penalty, first penalty and the fourth shootouts. don't mean shit if you miss the second third and fifth well yeah but that's what Egypt has <laughs> proven <laughs> um, so yeah I mean you're, you're right but this is an, a statistical outlier right you know it's not it's not the rule. It's no. the, uh, one of the exceptions. It's a gob move, though, eh? Being like, I want to take the last penalty, score yeah. it, and win it. Both, yeah, I suppose both of them are like, I want to be in the headline. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's a like, big dong move. Mm, true. <laughs> yeah. I didn't actually think about that. Ren- yeah. Ronaldo's done it before as well. And um, I, th- I think it was in a World Cup or a Euro, and Portugal got knocked out mm. because he went fifth and he wanted to yep. rip his shirt mm. off and, yeah. and run to the fans. And see, true, but, true. Uh, but no one no. gets to see. It. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, you got to you got to go first. I reckon eh? I, you've got to go in the top three because you got to take at least three penalties. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. that would be my theory on it. Yeah, but well, yeah, I can I can understand why you would want to take the fifth. But yeah, I mean, there's a reason that Football Manager organises it top down, right? Yeah, that's. Uh, I I kind of agree. That's that's probably how you should do it. Um. So yeah, the the, the first um, notable moment in the match was a penalty, as well as the uh, last notable moment in the match being mm-hmm. a penalty, again for Sadio Mane. And uh, look, uh, the Football Friends podcast we, we love we love some shithousery, and um, there was some pretty top stuff from from Mo Salah and Mane in this moment when. Um, so you know, Mane's Mane's holding the ball, and Salah's talking to his goalkeeper with his hand over his mouth, going, "Yeah, I reckon he's going to put it down the middle." Um, and Mane just <laughs> strolls over to the goalkeeper. No, no, no! I will put it to the right. Puts it down the middle. <laughs> save <laughs> you, Dick. <laughs> yeah. So if you're going to say that, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, I'm going to do that, and then if they go that way and save it you go well I told you yeah <laughs> or I don't, I don't, why don't why not just score an unsavable penalty why well, not put it in yeah. the corner anyway stick it top it's the, it's, it's the FCON no one can do that yeah. well like <laughs> maybe 
it's sometimes trying to psych the guy out isn't actually worth it. Just it's actually like, just put it in. For it. Yeah. So, yeah. Just, well, that, just take the bomb penalty. Um, <laughs> that having been said, last time I was in goal for a penalty, I shouted at the guy uh, mm. taking it, um, who happens to be a friend of ours, um, and I did save it. Mm. So, so sometimes it can work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always find just taking your pants off it always <laughs> works. <laughs> it's <was> public space. <laughs> I can't do that again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it was a game of. Um, it was pretty scrappy. A game, of, yeah, a scrappy game of sort of half chances and um, some wonderful fouls. Yeah, for sure. Um, Plenty. It was very non-league. Wow, well, <laughs> oh, that's harsh. They would, they were just um, full challenges. <laughs> very full. Yeah, yeah. Robust. Yeah, agricultural. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 and uh, you know, in the end, it came down to to penalties, and I th- I think Egypt, have, I think they had three penalty shootouts on the way to the final. Mm. No, two, two on the way, and then the one in the final itself, and um, you know, three, three was not the magic number. Yeah, well, I suppose Egypt was never even really a contender for these kind of positions until very recently and it's mostly because of Salah leading the line yeah (laughs) he was involved in every single goal of of their campaign except for one oh my god see exactly like and and scored the winning pen in not not in the two shootouts that they won if if he hadn't have yeah they would have just got eliminated like one the smaller nations yeah, you know, but probably Salah's dragging them all the way to the final. That's just how good he is. Yeah, although that that goalkeeper had um uh, an uh, quite an incredible tournament as well. He, I think he made two saves in a two maybe two saves in each mm. of the uh, shootouts, and then one uh, save in the game yeah, of the yeah, final. So, minus so probably, yeah. I mean, guy's a penalty mm. beast. Do you, do you know do you know where he's from? Egypt. No, I mean what like what clubs is he from? <laughs> um, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So. Oh, um, right. Yeah. But, so so they they did a win, and um, I've got I've got something about um their coach, Senegal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cisse. So captain Senegal to their first ever Afcon final two thousand two as a player, mm-hmm. oh. which they lost. Uh, and then captained them to the quarterfinals of the World Cup, also 2002. Wow, okay. Uh, no African side had gone further at that point. I, I still think they haven't. Mm. Uh, coached them to their second AFCON final in 2019. Wow. Another loss. Uh, and, and then finally... He's won it. Finally has won it. Uh, he's, a, he's a beautiful man with a beautiful face and a lovely set of um, lovely set of locks. Mm-hmm. And for that, we should um, for that we should praise him. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. He's uh, yeah, yeah finally, well, finally won it. Well done, big man. Mm. Now he's going to win the World Cup, I suppose. <laughs> wow. Mm. Semi final. Yeah. Well, yeah, Senegal are a decent team. They got a couple of players. <laughs> well, at least eleven. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just Mane, if you ask Ash though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, so so now we've had Mane and Salah will now both make their way back to the Premier League. Yeah. Where they will have to, of course, compete with Diego Yota for. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, um, I think I think Mane's been given the week off to. I imagine they both will party. So uh, Salah's going to play. Right, okay. Tomorrow. Nice. Because Good. he like is. He demands to play. Yeah, he's an absolute beast. Mm-hmm. Cool. He absolutely loves it uh, and will not be told that he can't play. Yeah, so our, mm. our entire shit is shaking. Yeah, I think I think someone, some car with a big duff duff in it just went past and it literally, literally rocked our whole house. Yeah. <laughs> it rocked my world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's sh- it sure will do that. It was Marnie, Marnie partying yeah, on his way back yeah, to Liverpool. It was, a yeah, yeah. it was a Senegal bus tour. <laughs> yeah, so 
Mm. So, you, you you managed to catch the FA Cup, FA Cup Liverpool's FA Cup game? Uh, yes, Liverpool played the, the might of uh, Cardiff City. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the the Welsh might. Fury. And by the might, I mean they might survive relegation in the Championship. Mm. Um, if Derby don't stay up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we we managed to sort of field a, a sort of B and a half team. Mm-hmm. Um, one of one of my favourite moments was um, Quivin Callagher coming about forty five yards off his line to completely axe some striker. Great. Um, and probably only surviving a red card because there was a a, def- a Liverpool defender kind of vaguely near him. Um, so well done yeah points to that Um, and then uh, yeah um, personal highlight was um, Harvey Elliott's return and a beautiful goal yeah Yeah. because he was was off injured for quite a while (laughs) I think uh, I think it was five months yeah right he he got hurt in like a second or third Premier League game and um, has just sort of returned to Fitness, and we saw um, Luis Luis Diaz mm-hmm. for the first Make time. Yeah, yeah, and he and he he contributed to a goal in some way. Yeah, what you and I were sort of not even arguing, discussing mm. whether it should whether count as his assist. Yeah, because I don't know if Diego Yoda what he did to it. I don't know. He he looked at it. Yeah, he yeah. definitely looked at the ball mm. um, on the way through to um, Minamino, who spanked it. Mm. Um, well, now now you have a lot of wingers competing for <laughs> yeah. these positions because Diego Yoda's been on fire, Minamino's fighting for it, Harvey Elliott's back now. You've just signed Luis Diaz, and then you're going to have Salah and Mane. Yep. <laughs> Although Jossa seems to be um, see, more of a centre forward. For yeah, okay. for sort of playing more in the, like taking Bobby's uh, position in the squad. Yeah, I mean he's. Um, well, he he's, gives you something different, doesn't he's he? He's both. He's certainly, yeah. He's not... Mm. But more further forward. Yeah. Just just cleaning up the... So, so you're thinking scraps. it'll go Mane, Yota, Salah? Yeah. I think on form, that is our current best front three. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, no. It's not that he's dropped off. He's still brilliant. To be fair, you can almost order it any way. Yeah. You could, yeah, that's what you want. All though. three of them can play. All yeah, three squad of them. Squad yeah. good. Squad <laughs> good. And then yeah, Diaz on the bench, Javi Elliott and Minamino and yeah, and then Origi's in there. Oh yeah, Do, yeah. Look, you're gonna have to trim. I th- <laughs> so I think I think the two that will go in in August will be Origi and Minamino. Um, but who knows? Um, you know, we always. You know, big players are always linked away, and there's only, um, you know, so so long that a, a front three can stay together. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I think it's probably likely that. I think I think Salah will stay. I think he'll sign a new contract and he'll stay. Mm-hmm. Um, Firmino, either way, Mane has 18 months left. Could go either way. Yep. Well, that's the thing. You guys have won the league and Champions League and things like that. This yeah. is a, it would be. A, a, there's nothing wrong with leaving now. Everyone is. Yeah, for for some players, they just go. Oh, I've 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 done everything here, and we're we're lined up pretty well to win. Oh, we're we're in a final. We're in a final for the Carabao. We're in the last sixteen of the FA Cup. Mm. Uh, there's no reason we can't push forward. We've got Norwich City in the next round, so um, Klopp should lose his job if we don't go to the quarterfinal yep. that's because yep. that's, that's how it works mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. lose your job if you lose to Norwich um, so yeah I th- I, we, we could see some we could see some of our bigger players leave in August but it, well the it, good thing is with Harvey Elliott he's a young guy he's yeah so. a child mm-hmm. yeah. literally a child brand new so. with, with a lot of potential that's cool yeah yeah um, and so and that's just before you tomorrow you have you play Leicester. Uh, yes, so jumping ahead a bit, but obviously we haven't played yet. So this... well, uh, I'm I'm not counting this as you know like the preview for next week. Okay, well, the, we're like right in the middle of it. So yeah, well, it, in a bit, slightly in 13 hours we will play 
Leicester City. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to win. Yep. Set home. Should be. Sounds about right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Salah's going to score. Mm-hmm. And uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, so... Today, we did we did see your team, Ash, drop some points. Yes. <laughs> this is very true. Now, we haven't we haven't had you here for the last few weeks, and you just so happened to come back the week when you actually lose a match. Well, yes, but I suppose because, I actually haven't done that badly well, in the last other few weeks. Well, this has been good. Harry Kane's been scoring again, and you um, made two good, two good signings. Yep, yep. Um, they had a hand in getting them from... From Juve to to Spurs, doing what you did, doing, yeah, yeah, doing a bit of the contract work. Oh, is yeah, that why? Yeah. Is that That's why you've been, been away for the last? Yeah, three I've been weeks. I've been Livy's um, Livy's lackey yeah. for the last three weeks. Livy's so. lackey. That's so, the title. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's where I've been. Applying some um, levy rich. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yes, mm. I've been doing some hard work there. Well, um, okay, but, but so before we before we jump into the match, do you want to ha- just what do you think about these two transfers? I know they're both loans, but is there uh, no or was... Binta, Binta Kure, Oh, is that that's um, a signing? That was a signing. And the other ones, and Kuliszewski is a loan. Yeah, it's an 18 month with an option to buy. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Well, that's um, good. Yeah, so we've got them for this season and next. Cool. Um, yeah, and then an option to buy. Um, and yeah, so what do you think? What do you think of these guys? Both good moves, solid players. Um, yeah, I th- there's a reason they came, um, and that reason is the Conte factor. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the fact that they want to play for him, mm-hmm. and he wouldn't bring them in unless he wanted them. He thought they could he could get something out of them. Definitely. Um, yeah. Obviously, he knows them. He's been in Italy. You know, yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So he knows the players he's getting. So, so there's there's options there. A um, bit more stability in that midfield. You can play the double eight. Yeah, well, Hoiberg and the yeah, Inker. yeah. But um, it's a bit stronger than like Winks or something like that. And yeah, it'll, it'll, yeah, it gives you a bit more. Yeah, Winks is probably done after this season. Um, really, it'll be it'll be those it'll be those two and Skip. Will yeah, be especially with Skip Skip on the rise. Skip, my gonna, Skip yeah. is Hot we missed a jump. <laughs> we missed Skip today. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's a big, that's a big loss. Um, Maybe he's doing the rubbish run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> in the skip. Um, and and then I, I no, we we the thing is for Spurs over the transfer window, we got rid of our like Some creative our creative midfielders. Sometimes and Dombele. Yeah, and Lo Celso. All, oh, all three, gone. all three gone. Yeah, yeah. all three Did gone. Did Lo Celso get loaned? Uh, yep, and in Dombele was alone as well. Deli Ali's alone too, isn't it? No, it's a. Oh, there's an option though. They have an no, option it's it was. I think it was like a ten mil with add-ons that could end really? up at forty mil. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's like if he plays it's a 20, lot of if he plays twenty games for Everton, we get another ten mil. Yeah, yeah. I think it might have even been a free transfer with add-ons. But, uh, it was they could sell him after nineteen it was, games because it was um, it was he had a. MK Dons put a future sell on clause in his contract like when they sold him to Spurs. Clever. Right. So Levy's gone and sold him for nothing. So they get nothing what a out of it. I think it was like twenty percent or something. Uh, so Yeah. Oh and so the other one, you have Kulashevsky now and Again, he was a player that was actually doing really good at Juventus. Yeah. But he just got he just stopped playing because they signed Chiesa, who was even better. Yeah. So it's kind of like you've got a, a good player for out of nowhere. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is potential that he could play at right wing back at the moment with Lucas Kulishevsky. playing so yeah with Lucas playing so well. Um, right. Yeah. Luke, I'll, I'll give you this. Lucas did look impressive on the um, in the Southampton game. So yeah, there's an option. <coughs> our biggest, our biggest regret for the transfer window was not finding a right wing back. Um, Emerson Royale is not good enough, and yeah. So oh my, okay, there's no, a spot there. Okay, so I looked up this Deli Alley transfer. It's even worse than I thought. Um, so there's no transfer fee, and Spurs are paying a hundred k of Deli Alley's wages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
until he makes 20 appearances in which case Spurs will get 10 mil uh, and so that's not going to be this season because there's only 18 games left uh, <laughs> and uh, but, then, but then Ash is right and then it, it can rise up to 40 mil once he if he plays 80 games well it's not hard to do if you oh, get sure. to 18 that, you get that by the end of the next season mm. If he plays every game, it'll be league games, yeah. surely. It oh. is. It is league games. Yeah. So, so, so if he, was if smart, he, so oh. if he plays every single game, and was, then every single game next season, and then, uh, yeah, he, well, he's, he's cup tied this season. He can't play in the FA Cup. So, eighteen games this season, and then, and he probably play every game. He's yeah, yeah, but he's got to stay injury free, and booking free. Uh, and all of that and so he's got to play performance has to be there so, so yeah. he's got to play every single game from now until about this time next two year. years away so yeah I'll get, you get it eventually I suppose but yeah no. it's, well, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of smart but kind of dumb at the same time well it's good to get rid of him I suppose you know <laughs> yeah so <laughs> we'll see how he fares at Everton so uh, yeah. So yeah, it was it was a weird transfer window for us. Um, well, three midfielders out, one in, and then mm, a winger, a but, winger in, and we got and Gil went out on loan. Um, loan. Okay. So he just didn't look very ready. Did no, he? no. He's, and he's then made... he then is for, he makes an impact as soon as he's back in La Liga. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. yeah he just doesn't look quite there. Um, yeah, you do, just don't know. Mm. Um, I think in the in the summer there'll be a different different plan for transfers. Um, yeah, we yeah. we need to reinforce the back line. That's our biggest issue. So yeah, Conte's um, first summer, so he'll make some should make yeah, some big moves. We need, like I said, we need a right wing back or even just a right back and um, and two centre de- defenders straight away. That as soon as he gets those. It'll change, and there's also talk that Regulon is um, Madrid are coming back in for him. They'll pay his release clause or whatever. It was like thirty mil. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's like yeah, buyback, like, buyback clause. Yeah, it was the same as what we paid for him. So it's yeah, kind of mm. sucks. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, but, but yeah. you don't lose anything, and you got a good player for two seasons. So yeah, basically yeah. like yeah. Mm. Well, he could always say no, but you know. mm. yeah, we, he <laughs> might like he might like Conte. Mm. Possibly, yeah. yeah. So yeah, but uh, he might like winning. But mm, well, I mean, well then he must not have been pretty happy today, then, right? No, miserable. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's, no let's talk about dickhead. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for it. So yeah, well, so what? Yeah, what happened today? That's that's a bit shocking. Was uh, just Southampton winning. I mean, that's that's pretty shocking. <laughs> oh, Ward Prowse is just a dog. An absolute. <laughs> um, he's a bastard, literally, like because he has two last names, so he's probably. Yeah, I mean, his parents probably aren't married. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, don't want to don't want to speculate, but um, I do. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> What's he gonna do? Listen to the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Leave, leave a bad review. What's he gonna do? Assess two game, two goals in a game. Yeah, could do. Um, yeah, no. So um, we just didn't shut down their team. Um, we just looked soft when we didn't have the ball. Um, yeah. Again, we've already mentioned Lucas when he got the ball and when Song got the ball and even Kane looked good. Like that going forward, we looked fine. It was as soon as we lost the ball, there was no real structure and just yeah, you. With no defenders, no, no decent defenders. Um, you know, we had Sanchez mm. and um, Ben Davis. Um, they just they're not at that level anymore. Yeah. Um, and, and and yeah, like you say, it was looking pretty. The defending was looking pretty woeful leading up to that Broja goal, right? Yeah, it, it was, was horrendous. It was yeah, so yeah. just like, where are you playing? Like, yeah. So. Yeah, and well, that's funny. We we said it before. Chelsea, you know, Chelsea's just making you lose points even when they don't play you. Yeah. They, they've got Brozier on loan at Southampton taking points from you. Yeah, Gallagher. Gallagher at Crystal Palace taking points. 
And then, well, then we've got Billy Gilmore at Norwich as well. But, yeah, but he ain't taking any points. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't think too soon. Norwich, you're on a good one. He took, he took one off Palace. The other, well, two Chelsea boys again, isn't it? Gallagher. Oh, actually, I suppose you're right. Going at it. Both yeah. of them took two points from other Premier League teams, right? So it's like, yeah, <laughs> sounds good. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's co- so you touched on something, yeah. The front half of the pitch looked looked very tidy, actually. looked yeah. very fluid. A lot of, um, like, the runs, they couldn't control them, and then they made they made Bednarek score that goal, that own yeah. goal. Mm. Yeah, again, and, and it, that all came from a good cross into a good position. Son was right there. Um, as the defender, you have to slide in there and get... Yeah, like he was behind oh, yeah, Son, no. he was on the goal side of Son, no so no you have to get there and and make that sort of challenge. It's just unlucky went in for an own goal, but if he, if he wasn't there, you you'd criticise him for not being right on the attacker. So um, yeah, we just yeah, we just need some defenders. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty yeah, simple. Quite a few. I might, might have to take another 10 weeks off to go search some defenders for Levy so, yeah the uh, but, um, I don't know the Russian league or something mm. mm-hmm. alright then so I suppose should we move on do you want me to go next oh, I suppose uh, I'm the only one left <laughs> yeah, yeah you're next <laughs> right so yeah also not the not the greatest news for Manchester United over the last couple games we of course had our FA Cup game with Middlesbrough, which, well, what, yeah, mm-hmm. which was very, very not good. Uh, how not good? On a scale from one to Greenwood, how not good? Uh, well, hey, uh, <laughs> well, allegedly. Um, uh, <laughs> Kurt, Kurt yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's, yeah, other one. Oh, Kurt, can't tell the bag. What, who, <laughs> did, did you hear, who is the, uh, who's the manager of Everton now? I, uh, David Moyes. Yeah, David Moyes, he was like, he says in the press conference something like, I, I mean, I am an animal lover, but I know that winning football comes first. Yeah. So he played, right. so he played Zuma. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he literally... 100% they won the game. He's now in the top four. Yeah. The three points. He he is there to do a job. Mm. He put out the best team. His job is to put out the best team he can. Yeah. It's Technically, just, there's nothing that was stopping him from, from putting Zumba on the field except Zumba, for a moral Zumba. compass. Well, see, <laughs> see, it just it just seems a bit you know unfair when you know Mason Greenwood also assaulted some pussy. And oh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> his ban was much more severe. Yeah, but he's been banned from society. <laughs> well, okay, so well, I might as well address this. Uh, the from what I understand, the the he is gone to court and been released no charges Zuma bullshit Mason Greenwood there's no oh, this is a, no they, they, they haven't they, I think he's been released no charges so far I think maybe there is some kind of investigation but it's going to be something that's really hard to prove anyway and there may actually never be a conviction so uh, I have no idea what that means the club uh, have not terminated his contract he is just on leave yeah, yeah. at the moment but, stood down like, yeah. yeah but um Nike has dropped him completely as a sponsor. So, but yeah, yeah. they always do that. Likewise. How does, how does that go? So, if Nike are the shirt sponsors, does he have to wear a different shirt without <laughs> without a tick on it? Or no, it's just his, he doesn't his he doesn't get the, he doesn't get the tick of approval on his shirt or like, <laughs> he, gets a, yeah. he gets a cross. The tick gets turned upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No key. No, <laughs> no key. Yeah, no same entry. With, same with um, Zuma, Adidas. Um, terminated his right. personal his sponsorship personal one, deal yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, Moy said something like um, yeah yeah I, of course I love cats but um, he's one of my best defenders I like <laughs> you you don't actually know what was happening there with with that video of Zuma um, yeah I yeah. <laughs> like so what you kick a cat <laughs> We've all done it. It's not nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can proudly say I've never kicked a cat. Hmm. I don't. I only when it was like it was more like a foot slide too. Like he slid the cat down his foot. Well, it was like it was like it was on a hydro slide. He's yeah, just giving yeah. it some fun. Hmm. Well, what about and it's his cat? It's his property. He can do <laughs> well, what he wants. Well, what about if what about if the cat like attacks your foot? Like, 
bites in, digs its claws in, and then you just like flick it off. <laughs> yeah. Can you yeet a cat? <laughs> yeet, and you like yeet it into the wall. <laughs> well, don't scratch me, cat. <laughs> yeah. I, I feed you, and you live here for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cat owes some. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anyway, um, so that's the um, analysis of Manchester United Middlesbrough. <laughs> well, that, hey, look, that, that, that was a tangent that needed to be done. We had to address the... The, the cat the, in the, the room. The controversy. The cat in the, cat in the room. room. Yeah, yeah. The cat in the hat. <laughs> well, so, so to segue back, Mason Greenwood obviously did not play in this Middlesbrough game because he is currently banned. And it would probably, probably would have helped, to be honest, but because it didn't really... Probably mean, would have taken a better penalty than Ronaldo. Yes. Well, yeah, Ronaldo puts one wide. That's pretty... That's, that's rare, you know. Uh, keeper dives the right way anyway, so... Might, yeah, legitimately yeah. had it covered. Yep, so he's not going to score them all. Going wide's pretty... Bad. Not good, yeah. Yeah, you expect more from Ronaldo, but, you know, can't always rely on him as well. And... Well, clearly we have been because a lot of miss. There's a lot of missed chances in that game with Bruno hitting the bar and, and all oh, sorts of things. Oh, that was and, dreadful. And then of course there was well we did we just scored one goal the Pog, Pogba goal. No, that was the Premier League. Sancho oh. scored. Oh, so you're right. It was Sancho, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that was a good goal. That was a beautiful goal. Mm. But then that was cancelled out by a well, a goal that wasn't a, a goal. Should a goal not have of, been a goal. A goal of supreme controversy. Yeah, so um, what well, the ball comes in, he, he takes a touch with his right foot and kicks it immediately into his hand in what is the most unnatural position in the fucking world. And then it comes straight to his feet and he assists the goal. And apparently that counts. They refused to VAR it and it was a big pile of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you see it, Ash? Um, no. Okay. But I believe it was a fear call. Fuck <laughs> off, you're so full of shit. <laughs> Classic. Oh you God. are just as corrupt as the yeah. FA. Yeah, um, yeah. No, look. I I was under the impression that regardless of how natural your body position, yeah, if, if the ball the hits goal. your hand during the build up for a goal, mm. yeah, it's not a goal. Yeah, and exactly. It's so that way. It's it's objective. So like if it's is it a goal? Yes. Did it hit his hand? Yes. So it's not a goal. Yeah. Cool. That is as objective and as black and white and as VAR friendly as you are ever going to get. That, yeah. Like, if that hit his hand and it's right by his side and it's like, then it goes through like nine passes. Yeah. And they score. I'm that, not going to be complaining about that one. That's kind of, that's probably not even grey. That's took, probably this white. one, he took a touch with his hand. Yeah, he yeah. It, he caught it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, like I said, he, he may have even kicked it out if he hadn't have stopped it with his Yeah, it was certainly out of his control. Yeah, yeah. So... Will that have more contact? The ball in the hand or the foot in the cat? Pretty close. Well, that's, how, that's how the contact should be. I'd say, well, I'd say it was a draw. Well, I haven't seen the Zuma one, but based, on, but based on your logic, Zuma was way fucking worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I'd say between those two things, it would have gone through a penalty shootout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zuma takes okay. the fifth one. Mm. So, so then, yeah, it goes, it goes to penalties, and then we, we fuck it all up. Well, actually, we score all of them, and so does Middlesbrough, until Alanga misses. Our yeah. 13-year-old boy on yeah, the pitch. Yeah, poor, who... poor guy. I yeah. mean, you'd, I like seeing United lose, but and I even like them seeing being the architect of it themselves, but... Well, you know, he does take at number... He does take at number he's eight. He's like the eighth one. So, <laughs> it's not... Yeah, it's... It's going to get to him eventually. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, this time it, it didn't make it to De Gea, so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an upgrade. Mm. Well, yeah, we're we're now we're now wasting less of everyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Ash, here's a here's a fact. Do you want to know? Yep. Um, in the history of the FA Cup, Manchester United have never won a penalty shootout. How good? How good? <laughs> that is that is something that should be known. Yeah. There should, be, the, there should well, be printed on their shirts and instead now, of the Nike be, logo. It was because usually we just win the game yes. <laughs> in 90 minutes. And now three, more, three more people in, in know that. Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, very disappointed to go out. Shouldn't shouldn't happen. It sucks. 
Oh. Ronaldo then did immediately console uh, Alanga after missing a penalty. I mean, obviously, he must have gone up to him and said something like, hey, look, don't worry. Even I missed a penalty in this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just as bad as it I happens am. To the, it happens to the best of them. Yeah. And so, since Ronaldo missed the chance that and missed that penalty and then just wasn't that great in that game, he was dropped to the bench for our next match. We had the Burns. Yeah, against Burnley. So this, now this is I have a, I have an issue with that. So if we go back three months, every United fan said Ronaldo is amazing. He's going to save us, and all this shit. Right? You even said it yourself. Every week you were like, "We have Ronaldo. It's all good." Well, I no, I I think well, I you, said, you literally have- said, "Don't worry, we have Ronaldo. He'll score all the goals." I feel like I more leaned on we have no excuse now. That was more more my angle. I was like we have no excuse to not win, but well now we, we I can't make any excuses because because the rest of your team no excuses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. rest of, the rest of your team is still trash. It, that's not true either. A hundred percent it is. It's I, definitely not. I saw I saw something and it was who do you think is is the worst set of midfielders that Ronaldo's ever played with? Is it is it this uh, one? Yes. I suppose so, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know who the midfielders were at Sporting yeah, when he that, was I, 15. I yeah. don't think you count that, though. Okay, well, let's not count that. Because when he came like, to United, it was Beckham. Oh, no, sorry, Beckham would have just left. Giggs, um, Skulls. Giggs, yeah, Giggs. Skulls. Uh, Nanny I think was, there. was just there. Yeah, Nanny. Um, Carrick. Carrick. Fletcher. Like, the worst one is Fletcher. And he's like. The, and he's just like a well, United legend. Well, that, that was. A Premier League legend. Like, he, how was, many games did he bloody play? How many game. things did he win? Yeah, it was. Pro- I mean, it's prime Ferguson time. So it's. The, the whole squad was insane. Yeah. It's, it's. Well, the Correct. Not compared to that, yeah. Correct. And then he goes to Madrid and. It's even better. The, 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 the midfield is. is yeah. Everyone you've ever dreamed about. Then he goes to Juventus and the midfield is. It, it's probably not as good as the United of uh, Ferguson's Can't, time but oh, it's yeah. but it's pretty good and then he comes back to United and he plays with Fred McTominay Nemanja Matic who was probably there in 1940 mm. um, yes yeah, it's, it's definitely not as good <laughs> yeah, that's I mean mm. I mean he, he's an individualistic player and he will sort of create his own chances and just smash his own chances in but uh, well, he, he's not he's not only to blame and people will do that sure I mean hey, look that's I suppose that's the that's what happens when you want to draw so much attention to yourself right yeah when I you thought wanna... you were going to say when you want to draw a game oh <laughs> <laughs> well if they wanted to then they'd no. succeed <laughs> no well so it that's the thing he he's not the same player either right and no. that's the thing and because of that Rangnick knows this and he is straight up with him and he will he will put him on the bench he's not gonna uh, fold to this emotional decision of playing Ronaldo all the time and yep. and it, well, it made sense anyway because we were playing Burnley and Cavani is a better choice for this anyway because this is a running game they're gonna be they're, you know there's gonna be a lot of pressing in, in their half they're gonna sit deep and you're gonna have to do a lot of running uh it's probably more of a Cavani game anyway. Probably. And it was all looking good in the first half. We were kind of controlling the game. No worries. Uh, Pogba, Pogba scores. Great goal. You know, yeah, beautiful um, goal. Roof. Mm. Would still be going up. Yeah, and then there were two other controversial goals. Yeah. It's, been, it's been all controversy with uh, Man U lately. Yeah. So... The first one, um, so Ash, Ash. Have you seen these, or can me and Gage argue? No, uh, no. I want to see the argument first. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, the the first one is the Rafael Varane. It would have been Rafael Varane's first goal. Yep. He, yeah. He he scores a piece of a header from Bruno Fernandes free kick, and all look great. And then suddenly it gets VAR'd and it gets chalked back for Maguire uh, blocking the run of Jay Rodriguez. Yeah, uh, Maguire makes his run too early, and because yeah. he's a dunce, and then <laughs> and then he's a fridge. tries to scramble back on side, and he's he's ball watching as well. And as he runs backwards, he he bumps into the path of Jay Rodriguez, who who was going to get absolutely nowhere near. But yeah, who, who for ball. one would have got absolutely nowhere near Varane in that, and also after taking the bump, didn't 
didn't like, do anything it wasn't phase like he was just like oh okay we'll, we'll go this direction then it, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. it didn't seem to affect anything i'll walk around the fridge yeah and so yeah there's a bit of confusion on it originally it was i think people saying it was a foul on jay Reese, but then it, it wasn't and in the end of being it offside. was called as offside yeah i agree why <laughs> Because he's a dense human being. Okay, so you, it's just your hatred of Harry Maguire. Well, no, I just I like he made the run, he affected the play, he was offside. The thing is, he didn't. Well, well, that's yeah. The argument is he didn't affect play because Jay Rodriguez would have got nowhere near it anyway. But technically, it meets all of the requirements for being offside because yeah. he's offside and he does interrupt the run, the forward run of a player. So technically, yeah. the call was right. The VAR call was right. Yeah. To, to the tiniest, technically. yeah, I said yeah, okay. yeah. So, to the yeah. tiniest minutiae of the law. Yeah. Yes, well, it, but it's well. due to the wording of it. That's the problem. It's this is another one of those scenarios where common sense I want, kind of I should want, prevail. I want that to be a goal. That yeah, the, of course you do. The rule, but like the rules should allow that to be a goal. Because I, I want that. Like I don't want yeah. United to get three points, but I want it to be no, a goal yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, because common sense should prevail. Yeah. Yeah. Like there, there should, should be, be and there should be more on the like, I guess the ref's call. If the ref calls it a goal or or an, or an offside, they had the first like they looked at it in real time. That should have more wait, input. Wait, yeah, yeah. yeah like sure. you know what I mean. Um, Everything and, looks worse on VAR and, and, and cricket and things like that. It, like if it's too close to call, they you know it goes ref's ref's call or whatever. Yeah, whatever his like, initial you know, call was. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like there should be. Um, if the ref doesn't see anything wrong with that then surely VAR should go well how close is it but then you're but then you're playing aren't you because then it's interpretation and too broad a spectrum to pick from mm, but yeah yeah there yeah. should be some more weight on the ref's call yeah 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 they get it right most of the time anyway should we just scrap VAR and yes. take all those cameras and put them in Kurt Zuma's house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and start using those lines for like how far did the cat slide? <laughs> you see how how hard did it hit here. the cupboard? Like you know, yeah. <laughs> cat cam. Uh, well, the best, part, but, best part about the Zuma thing was there was actually um, Antonio, Michael Antonio with the sweep, like um, doing a like curling, just seeing if he could get the cat to the other end of the room. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh my god! And he did. <laughs> Jeez. Well, and, and if that wasn't the only controversy in the match, there was a second one as well where uh, the ball gets crossed in and Pogba and uh, Eric, Pe- Eric Peters, is it Eric, yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. Eric Peters challenged for the ball, uh, they both they both go up for it, and then uh, Pogba wins a header, goes out wide, and then gets crossed back in and tapped it. Uh, again, I thought this one was incredibly soft, and um, Rangnick agreed with me, and he was pretty unhappy about it in the post-match. Uh, didn't look like there was much in it and in my opinion the way the way peters behaves after it is like i got beaten i got uh, he won the header over me and yeah he, he got, carries on but first of all he didn't win the header and second of all he did get beaten what, across the back no he didn't he didn't head the ball he missed what hey but it wouldn't have gone there he did he gets a slight touch on it oh, okay fine <laughs> he does he redirects yeah, he, it it's gonna go out he, but, mm, and even then and it goes, probably not um look he bonks Peter's on the back of the head with his hand. It's foul. He doesn't. He doesn't. Did you even say? Yes. You can't like you can't jump with your arms up or your elbows like elbows on somebody's shoulder. You can't. That's not to jump for a header. You have to. Like, I think it looks. I think it looks a lot worse you, than it actually was. You, well, look, to win a header, you. Can't, I, you I can't, don't can't, think it's a fifty-fifty. See, oh, there was well, there was one it. of this in the Spurs game. No, he doesn't. In the Spurs he game, does. there was a similar. You, said, thing. you submitted it before. He did win it. Yeah, and in the, in, the, in, the, in the Spurs game, there's a similar thing where Emerson Royale jumped and absolutely cleaned out um, one of the the Southampton players, yeah, yeah. and then we carried on and and scored the goal. But like, it was the same thing. They jumped, he clattered the guy, and then it was like play on. Well, well, I, that, I, it should have no, gone back for a foul. There's certainly no clattering in this one. But yeah. like he jumps and connects him in the ear. Like if you if you jump and like if you make contact with somebody's head in the ear, it's no, it's a foul. See, I, I think I think it's one of those ones where it's just happening way too fast and it just looks way worse than it is. Oh, the thing is, there's, there's so many players. 
<laughs> yeah, cut it down to five sides. Okay, if that if that happens in the middle of the pitch, it will be a free kick. Hundred percent. I don't know. I, think I, it's, I, it's I do. Play, I think it's just play on. No, I didn't. Yes. I think it's it, to me that's play on for sure. Okay, again, like if a Burnley player collects it, then it's play on. If a Man United player co- collects it, then it's a free kick to Burnley. He mm. he he doesn't challenge fairly for the ball. What, what do you mean? I mean he hits, he wins the ball. Because he hit a Burnley player in the head with his hand. Oh, barely. It's like a. I don't dun, care dun, about dun. barely. Oh, it's so. It's, I, I agree with you. It's. it's I think the thing is. I, I think, agree with you. I think, it's barely. I think Peters agrees with me. That's I think why he you're played arguing off. the same point to the first one. You're saying that he was called offside because of some minuscule bloody thing, but then you're saying that it shouldn't have been called a foul because it was such a light touch. Like it's the same sort of argument, but in different situations. Yeah. So they should be both called off. Why? Well, if, if the first one he was slightly, well, I don't like, it was unfairly offside. Either, but. <laughs> it's because they went against you. <laughs> well, that is true, but I also yeah. There we don't go. Think, done. Well, Next. <laughs> that's not the only thing. It's not just bias. It's. But there is it's some. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just bias, but there is but some. Bias. I have to admit that there's a little bit, sure. But I don't. Again, I just don't think I would. I would be fine with that being a goal either way. Um, that's not that's not important to me and I think that's that there's nothing that was just a that's fucking Eric Peters bro he, <laughs> he's a killer he fucks people up all the time yeah because he's a and, good and, and that was, player well, and that was the match man the, ma- the match was an absolute scrap like, yeah Burnley yeah, well both yeah every, Burnley every, away everyone was going yeah exactly and that's the thing so what, judged on the rest of all the other stuff that's play on that's play on uh I agree with Patty. It's a foul in the middle of the field. It's a foul in the box. It's, it's a foul. Like also, you, United well, the ref game... did, again. The ref didn't actually call it either. It was the linesman who then called it like fifteen seconds later as well. Well, yeah. And then they didn't VAR it either. It I mean, he got it right. Was the right call? <laughs> he got it right. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think so. United, again, I don't think so. United gained an advantage by their player making a foul. <laughs> It's, I, I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I, think okay. it's, I don't think it's bad enough to be a foul. You don't think it's... Okay, fine. You see, if you don't think it's bad enough to be a foul, then this conversation is going nowhere. What do you mean? I mean, <laughs> you think it's not a foul. I think it is. That is the only single detail. Are you in, saying agree to disagree? I'm saying that you're wrong and we should move on. Yeah, yeah, cool. Look, I have to get mad about it. Yes. Yeah. You don't. You can admit that it was a foul and move on. Sorry, admit draw. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just forgot. I forgot they were doing a fucking show. I'm oh, sorry. I... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, salt, salt of the week, as always, seems to be... Uh, Jaden's salt show. Yeah. Uh, when, when will it end? When, 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 will, when will there be some reprieve? May. Mm. <laughs> uh, approximately the 20th of May yeah mm. enjoy it <sighs> okay so in that case we'll move on do you should we just cover the last of the matches this week and then we can do a preview uh, we'll just, just do the last of the Premier League matches and um, well we have matches this weekend it's, but yeah so the only other ones were we had well West Ham slipped into fourth place because that match was having the same time. Because they won. They, they did win. With Jared, Jared Bowen. Yeah, again, mm. Bowen not scoring the important goals. Yep. Pop fantasy, out winning fantasy captain, thank you very much. Yep, good call. Uh, oh, we did. Uh, uh, yeah, Watford, uh, sorry, yeah, Watford lost. Uh, Man City also won there over, over Brentford. Solid 2-0 that everyone expected. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Mares became their top scorer, which was like... This, uh, for the season yeah oh, I figure that's um, mainly based on penalties yeah he's based on penalties yeah he's been um, good uh, well this is oh, this is like what I was saying to you the other day how City's season has been very interesting because a lot of players who you wouldn't have picked to be their standout players have been like Mares was a, more of a bit part in previous seasons same for Bernardo, Bernardo Silva, Silva in the last six months or so dropped off and then yeah. Rodri has hit, 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 hit his peak, peak. And he's just carving it up, and then Laporte and Diaz are basically just unbeatable. Yep. Now that Laporte's gone Spanish, it just seems to have um, <laughs> smoothed off any rough edges that he had. Yeah. Uh, they're just Joao Cancelo. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, Crusher. He shot, scored. He nearly scored a, a, a messy goal. Yeah, he's he, he's crazy. He's so good, so fast, so good, really good dribbler. Just at, at his best in in the city team right now. Yeah. So, so every time you city have every every position as a star in that team basically. Uh, you know, so. when you've got no strikers your midfield has to chip in <laughs> yeah well that's like Gundogan's been doing he's just like alright I'll score all the goals fine now that we don't now that our striker is playing right wing I'll score all the goals yeah and Kevin De Bruyne will he can start scoring some goals now too well yeah instead of assisting them all uh, unfortunately uh, Ericsson hasn't yet to make his debut for Brentford he was not involved in that game yet but no but it should be soon I can't I'm very excited to see that I yeah, I'm they'll be cool. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's good that someone gave him a chance. So we also have yeah Norwich and Crystal Palace had a one-all, a one-all yeah. draw here. Chris. Poke the poke in thirty seconds. Scoring after thirty-five seconds. <laughs> Sweet, and getting a Norwich a desperately needed point. Well, I, I, I was very afraid for um, Vieira because we all know if you lose to Norwich, you have to mm. be fired. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and so Newcastle now have actually claw, yeah clawed their way out of the relegation zone. Yeah, after a fantastic win against um Everton. against Everton. Yeah, but it's still goddamn close. It's not only that, but they've points. dragged they've dragged Everton down as well. Like there's there's not much in that now. Everton and sixteenth. That yeah, is, they that are is, fighting. Um, in that Newcastle game. Mm. There's a cracker, cracker goal from um, Kieran Trippier. Yeah, oh, free kick. Tri- yeah. yeah, amazing. Yeah. And also Joel Linton kicking the ball into his own, own face. face. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, How clownish. I mean, the sublime oh. to the ridiculous. <laughs> the, guy, the guy's only scored about four goals in the last three, se- two or three stop. seasons or something, which is <laughs> so, so bad. Apparently he's a great player in training. All the reports say he's like he's one of the hardest yeah, yeah. working, great like just a great player in training and that, mm. and it just doesn't. Maybe they should blindfold well, him and tell him he's training. Well, it's because mm. we're playing for Newcastle. It's not like he's the opportunity to score goals. <laughs> they they didn't even they didn't even play like all their new recruits in this game, and they still beat Everton three mm. one. Yeah, they, we didn't see like, uh, Bruno Gumaray. Oh, yeah. I think he did come on just right at the end, briefly, yeah. five minute, uh, not but, even like, five minutes. Um, Chris Wood, Chris Wood played and actually missed a good chance. Yeah, oh, okay. he's he's struggling a little bit, but like new it's team, right. it'll come new right. team, and with mm-hmm. with the supply line, he's going to get like get big trips, and just wait until Alan um, Alan say maximum actually starts to pass the ball to other players. Oh, um, mm-hmm. Sam yeah. Maximum had an amazing moment. You know when um, someone's so good that the defender tries to just stop them by shirt pulling them yeah so he went past his defender I can't tell you who and the defender tried to pull his shirt and his shorts at one hand each it was just a yeah, beautiful bit of um, <laughs> uh, cheating I suppose you'd call it yeah lovely mm. Look, and, and yeah Newcastle out of the relegation zone for the first time this season yeah and, and that just Frank Lampard loss straight out the gate Wow. Uh, this, well, I suppose he added yeah. a few new players in there. With, well, Deli Ali did make his first appearance because yeah, yeah. they had an injury in yeah, come on, 15 minutes. 20, yeah, come on, 25th minute or something. So Deli Ali played, and yeah, it went great. <laughs> oh, I, I have faith in Frank, eh? Well, so, yeah, um, well, to be fair, he was quite good with Chelsea, and he only, he only lost the job there because they wanted someone to be better than... Good. Better than all right. Yeah, because he was doing well in the Champions League and things well, yeah, like that. He, I don't, yeah so yeah it could be good uh, next one I have here our oh, last one here is just Aston, Aston Villa and Leeds with a, just just Aston Villa Leeds with a, with a three, six goal barn burner. three all yeah and and of course three of those goals all three for Aston Villa involved Felipe Coutinho and see maybe I am just frequently wrong on this podcast <laughs> don't you mean a little life do you, yeah I lap it up alright like I'm, 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 maybe I have to admit I'm wrong about Coutinho it's, yeah that's, the gauge, that's good <laughs> the Gage Weekly Wrong podcast look the all of the odds were against them alright and you know I'm I'm fuck him <laughs> fuck him <laughs> yeah so he scored a beautiful goal and then set up two with two 
you know, Coutinho threaded yeah. passes to um, is it is it Jacob Ramsey? Is it? Ja- the, yeah, I think it is Jacob yeah, Ramsey. Yeah, he's an abs- he's, he's a child. Ramsey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a tiny child. Um, but he, the second one in particular was an absolute banger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, so partly cancelled out by uh, another former Red, <laughs> our boy J- uh, Daniel James. Oh, the second one was um, messy mm. with a Y. Oh right, yeah. Well, yeah. look at they. It's the he's first, just grateful to score goals. The first one was very nice, but the um, but the second one just sort of went absolutely everywhere. Then went up in the air, and he sort of headed it in from about one yard. Well, look, yeah, but you got you got to be there. Goals, goals went goal. in the back of the net, right? Yeah, <laughs> came off his head, went in the net, best goal ever. Exactly, so. true that. And then yeah, last goal from yeah, Diego Lorente. Three all. That's that's that's. Pretty good. Uh, Leeds probably needed a point. Aston Villa probably wanted more from that, but yeah, man. But that you know that happens. Some sort of middle teams taking points away from each other. It's yeah, and yeah. and you know it's given us the game of the week. So who, who cares? And the only other match that hasn't been aside from the uh, Liverpool Leicester coming up is Wolves and Arsenal will play for the end of this week. But then yeah, so. So up next we well this weekend Man U are going to play Southampton so maybe they'll try and take three more points from almost top teams it's <laughs> <laughs> not a top team well I hope, I hope we can beat Southampton you know you got, you guys couldn't we've got to make up for it you think do you think you're you're better than Spurs right now is that what you're saying actually no I, I okay. well okay because I, I about, about the same well, because you know how much I love fucking XG, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're, in terms of XG, we're, we're like, much worse. Uh, um, is this throughout the season, though, or is it? Uh, yeah, well, this is, this is the title for the season. The title rating, um, title rating is Spurs marginally better than us for, yeah. Uh, expect, you go, like, expected goal difference, and we're quite a bit down here. We only after we were in the negatives we were under our goal difference was in the negatives on average before the last game and then so Spurs were technically performing a bit better than us we're, we're at the moment we're, we're, when I looked at the stats we were performing pretty much it's on par with Barcelona at the moment but then Barcelona of course have now won 4-2 in their outrageous game which, oh, I suppose, yeah, we should... Maybe we could talk about that, just... Or should, we, should we talk about that one and then wrap it up? Yeah, sure. Well, I, I, oh, I just wanted to say who you guys have next anyway. It's just, um, you know, Liverpool has Burnley, so you should win that one, and then... <sighs> Hope so. Oh, I didn't realise we play Brighton as well in this match. Which Jeez. We have two matches. Two games in, in the space of four days. Yeah. And the Spurs have the Wolves. We can play Wolves, yeah. Right. Nice. You'll draw that, don't worry about no, it. No, they're pretty close to us on the table, so yeah, that's like a, I said, it's a, it's a draw. It's a good game. <laughs> yeah, we should well, be them. Wolves have pretty much the best defensive record in the league. It's mm. quite, it's quite, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it'll be tough. But... They're, they're the creeper of the season, eh? Yeah. Like, they, they've quietly done well. Their coach is really good. He's another up and coming. Yeah. just been they're just chilling, eh? Yeah. I rate them. So, yeah, last, last thing before we go, we'll talk about this absurd... Barcelona match between against Atletico Madrid. It was four two with uh, the return of Danny Alves playing for Barcelona, wearing number eight. Wearing number eight, but play, still playing right back. Yeah, and just being an absolute demon as always, yeah, goal demon, scoring scoring a goal and and assist demon, and most assisting, importantly, assisting a goal and then uh, Gavi picks him up and all that. Danny Alves goes nuts and jumps into the arms of Xavi and goes crazy even Suarez is there scoring goals and assisting but not for Barcelona <laughs> for imagine that, that they, Barcelona score a goal and he goes over and celebrates with them all well he, he, yeah, he, he yeah that'd be funny because he didn't celebrate at all he was just said nothing and you can you can still understand why uh, well they they should have never let him go away it was such a bad move yeah like, I agree in hindsight yeah for sure when you think you yeah do you reckon that was probably the start of the financial collapse, though? And they sort of 
probably well, needed to. They, they need, yeah, they definitely needed to let him go. No, no, that one, no, that one was because it, it was wasn't. Kerman, and Kerman was like, nah, we want young guys. And yeah. We want young guys who can't score goals. Yeah. Hmm. And, and Braithwaite for some reason. Yeah. Well, and oh, so that was also Adama Traore's return to Barcelona. Who also made an assist. And assist to the goal, yeah. So he looked a bit better there. Maybe he'll work out there. That's oh. interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's an interesting one for Hamay. Because, mm. like, he's typically not, like, the Barcelona style of player. No. He's very, very in-your-face, aggressive, yeah. go for it. Yeah. So strong as but well. But it's, like, it's definitely what they've missed. Sure. Um, you know, Osman, Osman, Osman Dembele is meant to be going to fill in that gap for last however long he's been there, and he's just done shit. Well, so. Adama's definitely going to challenge him for that position. Oh, well, yeah. no, yeah, he, he, he has that position. Yeah, like, it looks like it. So th- that's interesting mm. that they, they picked him up. It's, yeah, mm. it was an interesting move, so. Mm. And, and yeah, and then, well, early on as well, too, that, that Jordi Alba goal was... A screamer fucking unreal it was like the ultimate cross from Danny Alves and then he just <laughs> kicked the shit out of it yeah. volleyed it straight into the corner oh, is that an incredible goal that's the Danny Alves hat trick yeah assist yeah. a goal in the red and card and then the red card for just going in completely studs up into someone in someone's calf like, I think it's Carrasco yeah Carrasco in the most brutal who way who also scored yeah he's so, like how dare you try and upstage me <laughs> yeah so that's the that's just that's Danny Alves that's, that's what he does and the way no. to make it the the hall would be to eat a banana. Yeah, definitely. So on his way off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's funny. It just seemed like a very nostalgic game. A lot of older know, celebrities, Barcelona celebrities. celebrities, Barcelona celebrities, and shit. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Xavi um, can return Barcelona to what it was just not that long ago. You know. Yeah. Well, I think when they took over. When he took them over, they were ninth, and now they're fourth. Yep, great. So, good, good turnaround there. So, but they they should be at, at least fourth, even if they're having a bad season. Yep. Well, they should. Be. Well, they're going to keep going up, so don't worry yeah. about it. We'll see. They have. We'll see what happens with Aubameyang as well. He's there now, and uh, he had, well, if he wants to play, he needs to do something because not going to be able to go back to Arsenal. <laughs> what I understand, they've fallen out, so. I don't know. We'll see. Players do seem to be re- reviving their careers at the moment, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully for him, he's one of those. Mm. Okay, so that's probably about everything. Uh, any, any closing thoughts before we wrap it up? No, don't cut cats. Yeah, don't, yeah. Not, not even once? Not even once. Okay. Mm. Alright, well, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you next time. Tell your mum, your friend's mum, and your friend. And your cat. And your cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Right. Cheers. Two root. <laughs>